Let it snow, let it snow. It's December and I want it to snow. If not outside, then at least on my computer screen in a browser window like this. And I want to code everything myself. So every day until the 24th, I'm going to code a bit more, hopefully ending up with a result kind of like this. And I invite you to follow along. So I go to my trusty editor and start a project. I've already prepared my project folder called Snow, and now I just have to add my HTML, CSS, and JavaScript files. I always prefer to call the HTML file index and the CSS and JavaScript file the same name as the project. Then I'll just set up the basic HTML file that links to the CSS and JavaScript. Add a title, save, and then we are ready to roll. If we take a look at the result, there's not much to see, but of course white snow on a white background wouldn't work. So the first thing I'm going to create is the night sky. Before that, however, I'm going to move my output next to my editor like this, so I can see them both. Then I'm going to create a div for my night sky and style it with some CSS. In brackets, I just press Ctrl or Command E and create a new rule. Then I can add a background color, say blue. Of course, it doesn't work because it's very, very small up here in the corner. So I also have to add a size, let's say a width of the entire screen and also a height of the entire screen. There we are, there we go. And I just want to get rid of this annoying white border. And I know that's the body. That should have a margin of zero. Now there's a nice blue night sky. I don't really want it to be blue. I want it to be a gradient from almost black to a bit lighter blue. So how do I create a gradient? Well, I don't know, but I do know where to ask on the internet. CSS gradient. And remember, it's always the second result that's the best and ultimate CSS gradient generator. It sounds, oh, it almost does what we want except for this line in between, but I can take these and drag them away. And I can take this one. I'm going to make it dark, very, very dark. I'm going to make it black. And this one is going to be, yeah, it doesn't look, this doesn't look right. I'm going to make it a darker blue, much darker like this. But then I want it to be just a bit brighter at the bottom. So when if I take this and press plus next to it, I get a copy. And here's a trick. I can then select the old one and just make it a bit brighter like that. That looks beautiful. And then here I have to copy all of this code or I did if I used an old browser but I'm using a new one, so I can just copy this part, copy, and paste it in instead of the old background color. Ooh, there's a nice screen. I saved my CSS because it was so complete. And I'm also going to close this and save the HTML. And I do think there's time to add just a single snowflake today. I'll add it inside the night sky. And since I think there'll be more than one snowflake, I'm going to use a class. And how should I style that? Well, first of all, the snowflakes should be positioned anywhere. So they certainly need a position, absolute. But remember, when I position something absolute, it has to be inside something 
that has a position of relative. And then I also have to give it a width and a height. Let's just use pixels. 10 pixels width and a height of 10 pixels also. And a background color of yellow, yellow snow. Here is a square snowflake. It shouldn't be square. I'm going to make it round. So I'll just give it a border radius of, if I give it a border radius of the same as the width or just 100%, it'll be completely round circle. I'm also going to move it a bit left. Where should I move it? 100 pixels and and of course it shouldn't be yellow it's just for fun it should be white so there's a snowflake i would like to have it a bit of a glow if we zoom in here see it's just a perfect circle i would like it to have kind of a glow or blur around it there's no such thing in css but if we give it a shadow and make it white, that should do the trick. So we position a shadow at the center and give it a spread of say 15 pixel and the color should be white. Now this box is just from brackets, so I'll select something else. You see now there's nice glowy snowflake, almost looks like the moon. What if we zoom out? There it is, perfect. I'm going to save everything and just because it's so perfect, I'm going to store it in Git. A single snowflake. And now my day is complete. I've created a single snowflake. Tomorrow I'll see if I can get it moving. See you then. Let it snow.